A few years back, a huge 50-foot right whale was found by residents on a beach in South Africa. The impressive animal had been floating in the ocean before making its way to land, but when people found it they noticed some strange bite marks. Portions of the whale had been devoured by what people described as a large shark, noting that the bite marks on the left-hand side of the whale were done by great white sharks, but the huge bite mark in the middle of the whale was four to five times larger than the other bite marks. Officials went on to say that they weren't sure why this whale passed away, but said that the obvious bite marks show that it must have been floating in the ocean for a while, before it ended up on the beach. Due to seeing this large bite mark, it wasn't long before people started to share their own ideas for what caused this. Scientists and marine biologists have said for many years now that Megalodon went extinct, citing various reasons for why this happened including their prey moving to colder waters, geological changes and the introduction of smaller sharks that were able to pick off animals that did stay. Researchers have said that Megalodon wouldn't be able to survive in this current climate, but that hasn't stopped people from suggesting that Megalodon still exists somewhere, with one idea being that it's made its way and adapted to deeper waters. Those who believe that the shark still exists points out that it could be responsible for the large bite marks, saying that it matches current theories for how big the shark was, going on to say that if it was still alive something like a right whale would definitely be something it preyed on. Interestingly, fishermen for years now have been coming forward with some interesting stories, noting that on a few occasions they've encountered large sharks exceeding 30 feet and it could be due to these stories that the rumour of the Megalodon exists. Back in 1981, an Australian researcher, David Steed, was writing his book Sharks and Rays of the Australian Seas, and he would often find himself listening to the stories of local fishermen all throughout the area, of whom could tell interesting tales and point to the natural habitats of strange sea-dwelling creatures. One such story, however, included an encounter with a huge shark. According to the fishermen, they all claimed to have seen a shark that they described as being much larger than anything they'd seen before. The fishermen claimed that they were in deep waters, laying a number of crayfish pods, when the massive shark had surfaced for only a brief moment to show its size, and ended up carrying away the pots in its mouth, despite the pots being more than three feet in diameter. Not only did this terrify the fishermen, but it led to them refusing to visit their prime fishing location for several days, as they were terrified that the shark would return. Though many refused to believe their story, the fishermen still stuck by what they saw, and warned many others of whom attempted to search for the monster to merely leave it. Others who saw the photograph said that the most likely answer is that this section of the whale is soft and that it could have been an area that was constantly attacked by great whites, giving off the impression that it's one large bite, when in reality it's multiple bites. The Megalodon is renowned for its massive size. The reason we're aware of the Megalodon's incredible size is because of the comprehensive fossil record. According to fossil evidence, the Megalodon was an apex predator millions of years in the past, with most science believing that the monster went extinct roughly 2.6 million years ago. Interestingly, in the last six months, researchers have come forward and said that we actually underestimated Megalodon's size, and that it was originally thought to measure around 50 foot, but new studies have revealed that it was likely closer to 65 feet. A new study has a different idea on the monster's mysterious demise, in a paper published, scientists proposed that the extinction date could extend another million years. After examining the same date that had been used to date the extinction date originally, the researchers noticed faults in the findings. For instance, the fossils had imprecise dates, older dating methods or had simply just been misidentified. Robert Bossenbecker, a paleontologist at the College of Charleston in South Carolina, was the one who worked on the new study. 
he said the following. After making extensive adjustments to this worldwide sample and reanalyzing the data, we found that the extinction of the Megalodon must have happened at least one million years earlier. Surprisingly, the decline of the Megalodon seems to happen at the exact same time the great white shark species began to thrive. According to a write-up in the National Geographic, scientists had believed that the Megalodon's extinction was associated with some sort of extinction event at the end of the Pleistocene period. One example being a supernova that flung hazardous radioactive material across the planet. However, this new data shows that there were no significant changes, or changes that were widespread enough to leave an impact on the Megalodon's population. That is, except for the rise of the great white sharks in Earth's waters. Great whites, while not as big as Megalodon, are an apex predator in today's marine environment. Despite their smaller size, great whites may have been able to tackle younger Megalodons or those in adolescence. Scientists also believe that other changes to the planet's ocean could have given the great whites the slight advantage, causing the Megalodon to eventually fade out. Megalodons primarily ate small whales, but ever-decreasing populations meant fewer sources of food. Regardless of what truly happened, it's an amazing fact that the great white sharks have managed to outlive one of Earth's most impressive predators. So what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.